Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at SparkPoint. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor, so you should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Jumping into the SRK token on the daily chart. So we are in this horizontal, right? And you know, you can think of it as a bear pennant because we did have this strong move towards the downside over here. And then you get that consolidation phase with couple of fake outs over here but we ended up coming back into the pattern now we're looking for a breakdown to to our uh, support technical targets or a breakout to the upside with an impulsive wave but right now it does seem like we are breaking out because we started hitting this upper resistance level and we are in this technical target to the upside based off of this falling wedge so actually we are in two falling wedges over here last video I did cover this so you can see that we have these white lines over here so just like this this is a smaller falling wedge and these green lines represent a bigger falling wedge so we do have two targets and these targets are 0 0.0538 and 0 0.00666 and the first one being 0 0.00538 okay so what's happening right now is we had this nice impulsive wave ran into a level of resistance so not only did we run into this yellow line, this resistance line, but also the 0 0.382 on the FIB. This is the smaller FIB set from, um, set from, where is it? From this swing low over here, all the way to this swing high that we had in September. So what you want to do is you want to consolidate for a bit in between this range. You can hold the 0 0.236 as support, so you can buy off this level. I wouldn't be surprised if we even came back down and retested this this yellow support line okay that is still something possible because you broke out of it you want to back test it as support you break the next trend line and you can potentially still back test as support because that's what usually uh prices tend to do now i'm not saying it's going to happen for sure but you know you can put some buy orders at 0 0.00381 and perhaps somewhere at 0 0.03 0 0.00366 somewhere around around uh, around those prices uh, i think we may potentially end up coming back for support so on the daily chart we have started coming back up above the daily 20 ema and that is something that we need to do in order to start the uptrend and in order to get the bullish cross where the 20 ema crosses above the 55 ema and when you're above the emas you're in an uptrend when you're above the 20 ema you're in, uh, in an uptrend when you're Below it, you're in a downtrend, okay? When you're in between them, you're consolidating. Now, if we manage to break this high over here at 0 0.00666, then you're looking at your next impulsive wave target, and that is at 0 0.0103, okay? And that would be out of this 0 0.236 FIB on this larger FIB extension that we have. And this is something that we couldn't break for a long time as you can see if i bring out the fib from the all-time high you're essentially in this 0 0.236 for almost ever right you want to break out of there and i think when we start breaking out it's going to be glorious and we're going to be so so bullish on spark point we just need to get out of this zone right now break all these highs that we have and then i think we're going to fly obviously there's always going to be resistance to be broken and support to be held and I will give you all those levels. So yeah, like I said, 0 0.01038 is the target from the impulsive wave. If we manage to hold support over here, okay? If we start breaking through these resistance levels and these fibs, the main level you wanna see broken is the 0 0.618. Uh, that is sitting at 0 0.00504, and that is the golden ratio. Once you break that, once you come up, break that back test as support, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to break this previous high um, and the previous high being over here at 0 0.0066 okay you're looking for that in a bear scenario what would happen is we would start losing our support from the from these yellow support lines come back down and perhaps bounce off this 0 0.00321 but that's only in the case of bitcoin going down and I don't think we're going down on Bitcoin anytime soon. I don't want to sound too bullish, but I think if Bitcoin has a nice retracement and then we end up somewhere at 60K by the end of the month, we're going to be very, very bullish on Bitcoin. 
So by the end of the bull market, we're looking at something uh, along the lines of five cents, four to five cents on Spark Point. OK, so hopefully we can get there. If we do manage to get there, great. Make sure to take profits along the way. Everybody is expecting another peak in December, January. Please be aware that when everybody wants one thing and everybody knows that something is potentially going to happen, the smart people, the people that move the markets, they're going to do something unpredictable and perhaps dump the market a month earlier, right? We can get a dump in November. And nobody would expect that. Nobody's talking about the crash in November. Nobody's talking about that. Everybody's talking about December, January, perhaps May, March. And I'm not saying that that's not possible. It is possible. But this is, this is something, this is a trap that we're laying for ourselves, okay? So be careful not to get trapped. Take profits when you can. Uh, stick to your plan. If you end up, you know, hitting the bear with everyone, well, so be it. But you, you just have to be prepared, man. Take your profits when you can. Obviously, this is just a start. Uh, next month, we're getting the Bitcoin upgrade that everybody's talking about, and we'll see how that affects the market. That could potentially be the catalyst for the breakdown. But enough rambling. Let's jump into the RSI. So you can see that I did give you this support line. In the last video, it was met. We had a nice bounce from this support line. And right now, we're coming back up. Potentially, we may come back down and even retest this support line over here where you can see we have multiple touches. If that doesn't happen, it's fine. But what I'm looking for is a breakout from the symmetrical triangle and we're absolutely flying to the overbought, okay? That's what I'm looking at for Spark Point. These lower cap gems are going to perform very well, so they can absolutely fly. Now let's jump into more uh, technical indicators on KuCoin. So right now we're on the four hourly chart and I do have a bit of a different FIB set up over here. This is from the August peak that we had at 0 0.00788 and all the way to the bottom over here. You can see actually, I don't know why that's there. And that's the way it should be. Okay, so that's our bottom. Now, what you need to be looking for is at the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.618 sitting at 0 0.0609. That's your golden ratio. That's what is going to be uh, our massive resistance level we're going to get rejected from that probably find support at the 0 0.5 where you can buy back in if you end up selling at this resistance which a lot of people do and then you have that move towards the upside break the previous high and you know we're all set but you know it, it potentially can play out differently all i'm saying is that be aware that spark point can absolutely fly what we're doing right now is we do have a little bearish pattern sitting on the four hourly chart. I do want to make you aware of that. And that would be a nice opportunity to get more, uh, to get a bit more tokens on a discount. So this is your, this is your double top pattern, right? And you would have the neckline somewhere over here. Okay. So if you end up losing the neckline, take a trend line from the resistance to the support and you place it over here and that potentially gives you this bottom okay this potentially gives you this w bottom pattern which is a bullish pattern but it would mean that spark point has to lose this resistance and come back down and that would mean that we would get a bearish cross on the four hourly chart the 20 ema would cross below the 55 ema and that is something that we don't want to happen but if it does happen you can put some spy orders at point zero zero three two three okay that is something that we can potentially do. As you can see, we're failing to get through the 2.36 on the FIB over here. Once you get through that level, you got rejected. Once you break it, back to staff support. That's when we're gonna next tar that's when we're gonna have the next target, which is the 0.382 sitting at 0 0.00499 cents. Okay. So a lot of targets, a lot of resistance to be broken, guys. But I think once we actually do it, we're gonna be happy with this project. And I think it's going to do very well. I think it's going to do very well. So, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the Discord server because we are posting a lot of technical analysis in there. Uh, I am thinking of getting some people to do more TA on the, on daily basis for people. And if you want me to do a quick TA as well, jump into the Discord server. It's in the description. Uh, click your technical analysis in the discussion section. 
and you know just type in something hey Hazi, could you give me like a ta on on this coin or whatever and we do have the news section i'm gonna try updating uh, i'm gonna try update the news a lot more it's a bit difficult to keep everything organized at the minute and we do have obviously the main chat where people do talk uh, about pretty much everything and we do have the low cap gems over here and this is where we're going to be sharing our low cap gems and on the telegram chat we are sharing constantly low cap gem projects that are just exploding in in price so make sure to join the telegram chat it's a great place to be a lot of people support each other and you know it, it's it's really a, a nice community that we have going on in this in the telegram chat and i'm looking to build the same community over here in the discord so yeah that's pretty much it for me thank you for watching if you feel like supporting the channel there is a usdt link id to to the wallet uh trc20 uh if you would feel like supporting the channel that would be very much appreciated don't feel like you have to uh, that's pretty much it thank you for watching i'm going to catch you in the next one goodbye and good night